Hey, what's up guys? So before I begin the video, I quickly wanted to talk to you guys a plugin that I created for Unreal Engine 4 called WCG Plugin. <laughs> it's a very simple plugin, uh, but um, the basics of it uh, is uh, this plugin exposes some of the variables inside the project settings to Blueprint. And um, down here, I listed some of the uh, some of the variables that it exposes, and um, you guys can read it here and it's basically the project description project id project name and project version uh, but currently the total variables there are inside is 20 and um, it does support windows 64 bit and 32 bit and it also supports linux so if you are on a linux machine uh, you should be able to uh, use this plugin as well and it is going for 11 48 dollars at the moment and um, so uh, I can show you guys some of the screenshots. And so uh, yeah, I will uh, leave a link down in the description for you guys if you want to check this out. Um, it will be really appreciated if you guys can uh, support me in uh, my plugin I created. And um, it's very simple to use and I. Uh, I hope you guys uh, will like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the second squad SDK video. So in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can create a mini map for your map. That will be shown in uh, the in game when you open your map and stuff. So uh, first that we will have to do is I'm just going to zoom out. Speed up my zoom. Uh, but I don't really need to uh, zoom out this far but basically what we'll do is uh, just go into here in this tab and then go to basic and then you'll see there's an empty actor over here I'm just gonna drag this one and just put a far end of that on the map and then the, and I'm gonna drag in another one on the far side of the map now you will depending on what how big your map is and whatever you'll put these on different places but um, usually they have to be on uh, one corner of the map and the other one on the other corner and then once you've done that we'll go to the world settings and then here where it says minimap over here on map texture corner zero we'll choose the first actor and then for the second one actor two and then here where it says title resolution of tile resolutions, I'm just gonna put this on um, on 2K. And then this tile count I'll make one. And then this the rest of this stuff you can leave as is and just click generate minimap. And now if we go to maps, you'll see it's right there. This is our minimap. And now we can drag it in. And now our minimap should be set. I'm just going to click save again, save everything, and um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, I'll be back once it's uh, finished loading. Uh, never mind, uh, it is done. Okay, so now if you click play, you guys will see it should show our map with all a lot of nothingness inside. But if we click continue, now you guys will see we actually see our fob on the map. You can zoom in and zoom out, and then we can select it and we click firm. Wait to fix this where it sh like limits you. On the thing is we'll go into here I think it's somewhere in the world settings oh yeah just uh, click all of these and it will disable the time before okay so to fix all of those uh, things so you don't have a time limit before you can spawn just enable all of these and then you click play now everything should still be the same um, but now we can just click uh, I want to be in the US and then click this and now you'll see we don't have a timer 
and then you don't have to worry those are just inside the editor stuff so uh, in the actual game it won't have those um, those limits of those stuff disabled and um, so yeah guys that's how you can create a mini map for your map hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one